Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is my daily cleaning routine. So this is everything I clean on a daily basis. This is what keeps my life a little more simple. It keeps me from scrubbing hours a day on the weekend, getting my house back clean. So I just wanted to share the areas that I do clean daily. Um, I can do this weekly as well. I have all of these videos posted but they are in my last household so I wanted to update them for you guys so if you want to see that weekly clean with me as well definitely let me know down below in the comments section but if you're new here go ahead and hit that red subscribe button click turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of these videos coming out and let's go ahead and get started into my daily cleaning routine The first place I always like to start is by making my bed. So it's not the very first thing I do in the morning. I tend to get ready and take my shower and get dressed. But as far as my cleaning routine, it's one of the first things I do. I know a lot of people start out in their, their living rooms and kitchens, like where guests will come in and see it. But for some reason, I like to get myself ready and then my room ready, and then I'll move on to the rest of the house. If you're watching this video and you're like, hey, Ashley, your room looks totally different, that means you missed my video. So go back and watch my master bedroom makeover and that will explain everything we did and all the changes we made and where it came from. So don't forget to check out that video. So I'm a firm believer in making your bed every day. I feel like it sets the tone. I was raised that way. And just a funny little story, when I went off to college, I like told myself I wasn't gonna make my bed and I wasn't gonna open my blinds. And then like three weeks later, I noticed I was doing it and not even realizing it just because it had been such a routine my whole life growing up. Next up, I like to clear off my nightstands. So now that my bed's made, I like to just go ahead and get those clean before I head on to the next spaces. Another thing I do every single day, which I just mentioned this earlier, was open the blinds. Get that sunlight inside your house and I promise you it's gonna make it look cleaner and it's gonna make you feel better. Another thing I do every day is get ready. So that means I need to pick up my bathroom. I don't deep clean it every day, but I do pick up. So like my straightener or my hairbrushes or rubber bands, whatever's on my countertop, sometimes it's makeup. I like to just go through and make sure everything's picked up and put away. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start a load of laundry. I think it's so smart to do one load of laundry every day. Otherwise, it just becomes overwhelming. You'll have tons of laundry to do and you'll have tons of laundry to fold versus just starting one load in the morning, switching it in the afternoon or when you get home from work, drying it and then folding it and putting it away before bed. It is so easy. Once you make a routine about it, it's really easy to do. You just start doing it and you don't realize and you will never be drowning in laundry. 
When it comes to the rotation of laundry, I just pick one every day. So sometimes it's just Savannah's laundry or it's just Chase and Mine's laundry. Sometimes it's just towels or like cleaning rags. And if you just stay in that rotation, it kind of always works itself out. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is one as needed chore a day. So this looks different every single day. It may be cleaning my baseboards. It might be cleaning the mirrors. It might be shampooing a rug. That's what I'm gonna work on today. But just figure out what it is for you. It may be an extra load of laundry. It may be bathing the dog. It can be anything that you don't do daily, but it needs to get done like monthly or every couple of months. It's just kind of a good way to put it in so you don't get behind on all of your chores but I do want to thank Hoover for sponsoring today's video real quickly I'm gonna vacuum this rug but I'm gonna shampoo it they do have an awesome vacuum that I've talked about here on my channel a whole lot um, so if you want to know more about that I'll link some videos for you down below but it's a great affordable um, cordless stick a vacuum if you're needing something like that but I wanted to share with you a shampooer. Now I have one of their smaller shampooers. I'll show it to you here in a second, but they sent me this bigger version because a lot of you are like, I don't just have rugs in my house. I have a lot of carpet. I need a bigger one. So I've been testing this one out for you and it is amazing. Right here, you can see the solution that I use. It's from Hoover as well and it's amazing. So I'm just kind of getting the shampooer set up and then I'll show you how it works. So right here, you're gonna be able to see, um, right where the rug was underneath my bed, it wasn't that dirty at all. It was like beautiful white, but around where we walked around on it, the boys walked around on it, it was turning cream. And you can see as I'm going over it, it's picking it up and turning it that lighter color again. I was so impressed with the shampooer. I love the smaller one, but this one you can do more spaces without having to dump it out and refill it. So I'm gonna show you right here all the gunk that came out of that rug and into the shampooer. I love having this. I love that I can do this at home and I don't have to hire somebody to come in. It also has the attachment. I know someone's gonna ask me that. So this one, you can just plug in the little handheld if you need to like spot clean something like furniture, rugs, carpet, whatever, just a small area, it does have that as well. So I own several of the Hoover products and they're all affordable and they all work really, really well and make cleaning so much easier. So I'm gonna leave their link down below in my description box if you need to check anything out with them. If I have a coupon code, I'll put it there as well. And thanks again to Hoover for sponsoring today's video. But now let's head into the kitchen so we can do some tidying up in there I wanna put you in that spotlight looking at you all night put you in that spotlight oh you make me feel fine wanna look at you all night put you in that spotlight oh you know Dishes is something I work on every single day. So if you run your dishwasher, it's really smart to do it at night and then unload it in the morning. But if it's not full, I don't run it. I just don't want to waste a load. So this particular day, it wasn't full yet. So all I had to do was load in the dirty dishes. But if your dishwasher's full, your sink is going to back up. It's gonna be full of dirty dishes. So when that load's done running, just go ahead and get everything put away and you'll be so thankful because it really does keep your sink empty. Close, 
I really like having a clean kitchen sink. Um, I just feel like it makes the kitchen feel cleaner and it definitely makes it smell cleaner. So anytime I'm done putting dirty dishes into the dishwasher, I like to take Dawn or just whatever soap is on the counter and a sponge and clean it out and rinse it out. And then I like to take any type of glass cleaner. I use Jaws and just spray it and dry it out and your sink will be so pretty and so shiny and you'll just love walking past it next to the kitchen. If you've never tried out your sink, try it and let me know what you think. Until my lungs give out your beauty. Now I'm gonna work on wiping down all my counters. This is something I do at least three times a day. I've always been like this. I even did this in my last two houses. I just like clean kitchen countertops. So I'm curious, how many times do you guys wipe down your countertops a day? I can't be the only one that does it like multiple times. Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night, all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful Now it's time to go ahead and switch the laundry. This is something I typically do in the afternoon, just in case you're curious. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want after that, I typically give myself a break until the laundry's dry and then I go ahead and fold it. So sometimes I fold it immediately and then other times I put it on our bed and I'll fold it before we go to bed that night and Chase will help me. It's just however busy that day is, it's how motivated I am. But like I said, I typically do it immediately after or right before bed. I never wait and do it the next day. You just have to get it done or the pile is going to grow and then you're gonna ignore it even more. So definitely fold that laundry the same day. As you can tell by all the color, this is actually Savannah's load of laundry and typically I just take it straight to her room and she folds it and puts it away. But my niece is in town so I had done her laundry as well and they were busy playing so I went ahead and just kind of folded everything. But I will put it just back in the basket and then Savannah will put her own laundry away. But I just wanted to help her at least get it folded and organized so she could just put it away quickly. Yeah, I'm on my way now. Every evening I like to do a tidy up. I also call it resetting or putting the house to bed, but I like to reset before I leave the house and I like to reset before I go to bed. And I also like to put the house to sleep, which means like dimming lights and closing blinds. I didn't show that part. I just showed like the cleaning part, which is tidying up. But basically anything that's out of its home, is gonna get put back into its home before I start cleaning. This way when I go to bed, I'm not worried about what I have to do tomorrow, what cleaning I have to get done. It all gets done at night. I know you're tired, I'm tired, but if you can just push through, I promise you, you're gonna sleep so much easier and you're gonna wake up and feel so refreshed and not have a whole list to do as soon as you wake up. So 
So I noticed Tiger or George, one of them, had gotten mud on the rug. So I went ahead and grabbed my shampooer. What's nice about this is like the water in the solution stays in it. So I can just grab it quickly, shampoo, and I don't have to worry about that the next day. So I just did this real quickly before I started the rest of my nighttime routine. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. I know at this point it probably seems like I've done a whole lot, or maybe it doesn't but it doesn't feel like I clean a lot. I think it's just become such a routine that I don't even notice that I'm doing it. I just know to pick up throughout the day, to clean out the sink, to get laundry going. It's just kind of part of my routine and schedule that it doesn't seem that bad. And it's just short little burst of cleaning. I'm not cleaning the entire day. So I did a lot of living outside of this video. My family came over, I dyed my mom's hair, we ran errands, we went to the store. Like there's so much life going on that this is just little burst of cleaning. But when I go to bed at night, my house is clean. I don't have to worry about it the next day. I don't have to spend hours cleaning it on weekends. So just developing little routines or tasks that you can add into your day and just start with one. Don't start with all of them. Just start with one routine, one thing to clean. Maybe just start by making your bed or cleaning your sink out at night. And once that becomes a part of your routine, then add something else. The last thing on my to-do list for my daily cleaning routine is vacuuming the floors. I really love doing this at night. I do this a little bit in the morning sometimes, and if I have a mess to clean up during the day, I will, but I love doing it right before bed. I think it's calming to me. I love seeing vacuum lines, and I love laying my head down on my pillow knowing my house is spotless because when I wake up and walk through the house and the sun's shining in and the house is clean, it's just nice starting the day off calm like that. It's not looking around seeing 20 million things that have to get done. So that's why to me, it's worth pushing through at night, even though I'm exhausted, just so I don't have to worry about it when I first wake up in the morning. We're already busy enough, aren't we? Now I will say I don't always vacuum the entire house. So if Chase's office and my office are doing okay and we haven't been in the guest bedroom, I won't hit that every single night. But I do try to do like the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, and even like the entryway where people come in and out of. And this right here is how I love ending the night and going to bed, even if I'm up later than I wanna be, even if I have to ask for help from Savannah and Chase, just resetting the house for the next day is just so calming and rewarding to me. I 
I know I always say this, but thank you guys so much for watching and just hanging out until the end of today's video. It is so helpful. And thanks again to Hoover for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna leave their link down below in my description box. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.